We're back in the metro on a nighttime crappie quest. It is quite cold out here, negative 17 to be exact, but there is honestly nobody else out here on this bay. I've never fished it, but I know it's got fish. So what I did was I spent the last hour and a half using my live scope and just scanning the area for fish. I looked on Navionics and I found some good looking spots. So I just moved around a lot and tried to find fish and came across four good looking spots that look like they produce some fish. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna fish those spots and we're gonna see how many of them actually produce some fish. I'm gonna start out at the first spot and if we're slamming them at the first spot, we really won't need to move to the other spots. But if we're not catching fish or we're not catching big fish, we're gonna have to move. I'm on the quest for some big fish tonight. So hopes are we get something nice. No matter what, I know we're gonna catch some fish. Hope you guys enjoy, let's get fishing. All right, so we're just getting set up now, guys. I sent a dead stick down and I have a pretty big shiner on there. I'm after some big fish today, so we're gonna throw down some big baits. And to be honest, a small little perch is probably gonna eat it. I found four promising spots on this lake today while using live scope. We've got two good looking drop offs and two basins. We are in one of the two basins today, guys. Looks like we got a fish coming up to our dead stick. I just sent that down not even a minute ago. All right, he came up, went back down. We'll see what he does. But we're sitting in a basin today, guys. We're sitting in about 26, 27 feet of water. Not super deep, but it's one of the deepest holes in this lake. So we're sitting right in the basin and I'm hoping some crappie maybe come down here at night. It's about nine o'clock right now. We're doing another night bite. We're probably gonna fish nine to 12 is kind of my goal. I wanna get home and start editing on this video. So we're gonna fish around a little bit. If we're not producing right here, I wanna try one of my other holes that I found with live scope today and hoping that one produces too. This looks like it had more numbers. I saw a lot more fish in this general area on this basin, but this other basin I wanna try, which looked to be a little bit deeper water, had less marks, but bigger fish. And today I'm after bigger fish, but I wanted to start out seeing if any of these numbers were super big fish. Cause this could be a school of nicer fish or it could be just a school of general, any kind of size of crappie. But those fish in that other basin looked pretty nice. So if we have to, we can move down there. It's about half a mile down lake and we can give that a try. But for now, we're gonna jig around. I got a spoon in this rod and we're just gonna keep jigging and see if we can make anything happen. My dead stick is getting super, super nervous. This is a really good sign. Looks like we got a few fish under us and we got one suspended there at about 15 feet. Let's see if any of these guys wanna eat. Looks like we got a fish in our bottom left corner right there. He's about three or four feet to our left here. Let's see if he wants to come in and eat. He's right under my dead stick almost. I wanna see if I can get him to come through here and eat this spoon I'm jigging. No, he might be going right up to that dead stick, which I got no problem with. Doesn't matter what he eats as long as he eats. I'll let this bait sit here for a sec. I wanna see if he eats that dead stick. He is on it. Let's see if he wants it. I mean, he is right on that dead stick. Yep, he's got it. He hammered it. All right, I'm gonna give it a few seconds here. I don't wanna take a premature hook set. It looks like he's definitely got it there. There we go. Got him. Doesn't feel like anything massive, but let's get a good start to the day here and see if we can get this guy up here. Yeah, just a little guy, but he hammered it. That's all that matters. Came in, chomped the dead stick, and we got him. That's awesome. Did not want anything to do with the spoon, which is a little bit sad, but that's all right. We're out here looking for fish and we just found it. Not a bad start to the night at all. We might head down lake and try some of those other spots and see if we can get something nice. But for now, I mean, that is not a bad fish whatsoever. Nice little eight incher there, just a beauty. We're gonna put it right back in the water and there she goes, lives to see another day. That is awesome. Good start, we've been here maybe five or 10 minutes, jigged around a little bit, had a few fish come through that didn't wanna eat and that one absolutely chomped it. Let's get our dead stick right back down. He liked that shiner, so I'm gonna put on another shiner here. All right, let's grab a little shiner. Actually, you know what? Why don't we use maybe a little bit of a bigger shiner? See if there's any bigger fish down there that wanna eat a little bit of a bigger bait. I'm gonna put down a bigger shiner on the dead stick and see if that does me any good. We've got some wild shiners right here that we're using for bait, guys. Just gonna dangle them right down. The thing I love about shiners is they are so, so aggressive. They are swimming all over, moving a whole bunch. Fatheads and crappy minnows don't seem to move as much as these shiners, so. I love shiners for the main fact that they love to move. They don't sit in one place. They are always on the move, and I love a bait that's moving. The more the bait moves, the more it gets these fish riled up and happy to eat. So, it's a good thing about shiners. They love to move and they shine. You know, hence the name shiners. We're gonna get this guy right back down to bottom here, guys. 
and we're gonna see if we can get another one to come through. We've been here maybe 10 or 15 minutes and we already got a fish, so that is not too bad whatsoever. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of fish here, but I'm definitely seeing some marks. We can always move down lake if we don't catch too many fish here. That's the good thing. We gotta flip over. We can always just move down. There we go. The bait is right back to where I want it. I'm gonna grab this rod here and I'm gonna throw right back down another spoon. I put it a little bit too close to the heater. Oh, 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 he took it. I'm trying to put on another bait on my other rod here and this guy just hammered it. Got him. That last fish was maybe a minute ago. I just sent this other shiner down. I was switching spoons on my other rod and this guy came out and chopped. It doesn't feel too shabby. Oh no, you're not a bad one at all, buddy. We're kind of slowly upsizing here. They seem to like these bigger shiners, which is awesome. That is definitely awesome. You're not a bad fish at all, about eight or nine inches. Choked the big shiner. Awesome. Threw down a pretty big shiner and sure enough, a little bit bigger fish came through and ate. We are on the quest for a big jumbo crappie and we are slowly getting closer. Get that guy right back in the water there. Awesome, absolutely awesome. I was switching up baits on this rod here, trying to figure out what I want to throw. I think I'm gonna use a golden spoon. The spoon I started out with tonight was a little bit of a small spoon, so I'm gonna switch to this guy right here and I'm gonna throw down something just a little bit bigger here, guys. Started out with a tiny little silver cast master and right now we're throwing on a golden cast master. We're gonna tip it with a crappie minnow. I'm gonna try the full crappie minnow to start out and if that doesn't work, we can use a crappie minnow's head. But they're surely loving the dead stick shiners. Even a big shiner like that, that fish loved it. I mean, I had that bait down for not even a minute and he came through and chomped it. The good thing is I'm not seeing a lot of numbers right now. Usually when I'm crappie fishing, if I see a lot of fish down there, they're usually all pretty small fish unless I'm on a school of big ones. It's usually a lot of smaller fish, especially if it's a big school of small marks. If I'm seeing that big school of small marks, there's not a very good chance that I'm gonna pull anything nice out of there. So right now, it's actually a pretty good thing that I'm not seeing many fish because these fish are coming right off bottom and eating my bait, so that is awesome. We're gonna throw down another shiner here, guys. They seem to like the bigger shiners and we're getting bigger fish with them. So that's a really good sign. I'm gonna get another bait thrown back down and let's see if we can get another one. All right, our shiner is back on bottom. I like to keep my dead sticks for walleye about six inches to a foot off bottom. And for crappie, I like to be anywhere from a foot and a half to about five feet. The majority of the crappie come through suspended. So if you got that bait six inches off bottom, a good portion of those fish aren't gonna eat it. But if you have it, let's say a foot and a half to five feet off bottom, the fish that are hugging bottom will come up and eat. The fish that are higher suspended might come down a little bit and eat. So it's a great spot to have. It looks like we got a nice fish coming in right here, unless that's two fish. Could be two fish. Looks like a semi-decent fish though. I'm gonna get dropped down here. I'm gonna put on a crappie minnow right here. Start out with the full one, like I said, and we can either downsize or upsize from there. Yeah, that looks like a really good fish there. Let's see if he wants that shiner. I put on an even bigger shiner right now, just to see if maybe these fish are just crazy aggressive. So I'm going to keep this spoon right here and I'm going to watch that shiner because he's on it. He is on that shiner. I just sent this bait down. He ate it. Just sent the bait down. I'm going to give him a little bit of extra time here. I don't want to lose this fish because I did a premature hook set. There we go. Got him. He is on. Feels like another semi-decent fish here, guys. I mean, I just sent that bait down 30 seconds ago. She's a chunky feller, that's for sure. Awesome, I mean, these fish are slowly getting bigger, but they're getting bigger and that's all that matters. Ooh, let go of that one, buddy. You know what? I might have to let you keep the bait. Just as a reward, I might let you keep it. Good looking fish, I mean, it's not a crazy big one, but it's a good fish. I mean, we've been here, what, 20 minutes now? I can't have a bait down for more than 30 seconds to a minute without getting hammered. She is actually a little over 11 inches. A lot bigger than I thought she was. A lot of fish down here, some good looking marks. I mean, we've been here 20 minutes and we are just absolutely hammering them. Look at that beauty right there. That is awesome. We're gonna get you right back in the water, buddy. And, oh, there she goes. Awesome, that's awesome. Safe and sound, that's what we wanna see. The fish is gonna live to see another day. That is fish number three. We've been here, oh man, 20 minutes and we have just been hammering them. 
Let's get another shiner down. It definitely seems to be that these big shiners are the ticket. So I'm gonna keep throwing down these big baits and big baits equal big fish and the occasional small perch that likes to eat big baits. All right, there we go. The shiner is back to bottom. I think I've spent more time sending my dead stick down than I have actually fishing. It looks like there's already a fish on the dead stick. It looks pretty small. I don't think this little fish is gonna really care for that dead stick. If he does, he does. I'm just hoping to get on some big fish. I mean, came to this spot to try to get on some big ones and uh, we've caught some decent fish for sure. I mean, nothing crazy big, but nothing super tiny either. It's starting out to be pretty good so far. We haven't been here too long and we've been catching some fish. Looks like we got another fish on the dead stick. This might have to be another dead stick day. Just using dead stick baits is what today could definitely be. There's no way this fish is going to eat it right away again. I might try to go chase after some bigger fish and try to find a spot that has maybe some semi-decent fish to it. Anything over 12 inches would be amazing for today. You never know, we could get them here, that's for sure, but it seems like a lot of smaller marks right now. Maybe the biggest I've seen down there looks like 10, 11 inches. Maybe a few 12s have come through, but those bigger ones don't seem to want to eat, which could be the same no matter where I go. If I move down lake, I mean, I might spend an hour and none of the big ones want to eat at all. It's about that risk. But I think we're going to stick here for a little longer and see if we can get some more of these fish to eat and make that decision later if we want to move and go chase after some bigger fish. I'm just hoping the bigger fish come to us. Much rather have the big fish come to me instead of me coming to the big fish. But for now, let's just jig around and wait for the next fish to come through. All right, it seems like a lot of smaller fish here. I came out here to try to get on something, something big here. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna grab this, put this away. We are gonna pack up and move down lake. Not the biggest fan of moving at about 11 at night because it's just, it's cold, it's gonna be brutal, it's dark. But we gotta do what we gotta do to catch some fish. And there's definitely fish here. There is very aggressive fish here. But I'm after something big and I'm hoping, moving down lake, trying a new spot, new spot, new fish, and hoping it produces. If worst case scenario, we will come all the way back here. But I'm hoping we can at least get a fish or two down there that's something decent. Even if it's not as many fish, but they're big, we're gonna give it a try. Definitely, like I said, aggressive fish here. We could sit here all day and still catch fish, but I want that chance at something hopefully decent. So we're gonna move down and try to find a new spot here and hope it produces. Otherwise, we might've wasted an hour looking for some more fish, but that's all right. I'm out here to explore, learn new things, and if I sit in the same spot catching fish all night, it's fun, but it's not what I'm after. I came here for big fish, and I'm not gonna settle for anything less. So we just gotta hope this moving does us some good. Worst case scenario, we spend a whole bunch of time and don't even get a fish, but there's definitely gonna be fish. All we're gonna do is go fish a deeper basin and see if there's any bigger fish a little bit deeper. Same look, an exact same basin. It's just gonna be a little bit deeper. There's really nobody else on this lake, so we got the whole place to ourselves. I'm gonna get packed up and I will see you guys at the next spot. All right, we have made it to the second spot now. I'm just sending down the baits. Looks like we're at about 33, 34 feet of water. Definitely deeper than the last spot and we've already got some fish down here. They look a little bit bigger than the fish at the other spot. Sometimes it's hard to tell, but it looks like some semi-decent fish. I did just drill, so the fish might be a little bit spooked, but I wanna get this dead stick down and see if we can get any of them to eat the shiner here. I'm gonna try to get it down pretty quick here. Looks like we got a good amount of fish. I'm hoping some of these guys are hungry to bite today. Oh wow, they are really aggressive towards this shiner. I wasn't expecting them to want it that badly. Holy cow. Did one of them already grab it? No, they're still there. But they're definitely interested in that shiner. I'm gonna give it a little twitch there and I'm just gonna let it sit, see if one of them wants it. I'll have it about I don't know, 10 feet off bottom. It seems like the majority of the fish are 10 feet off bottom. This one's going right up to the shiner already. I'm curious to see if he eats it. I wanna see how big these fish are. He is on that shiner. I just sent it down. It's a really good sign. Aggressive big fish is always good. And then I got this bait right here I can jig. I really hope one of those guys eats the shiner. I'm gonna give him a lot of time to eat too, so. I don't want to have a premature hook set and miss a nice fish. That is the worst thing I could do. They're on it. They are on that shiner. I just want to see one of them take it under. I want to see that bobber just slowly sink down. That's exactly what I'm looking for because they are definitely on it. The big question is, are they going to eat? 
Oh, look at this one running up right now. This one is chasing it. He's swimming up pretty fast. Let's see if he eats. Oh, my dead stick's down. Got him. Took my dead stick down. There we go. Let's see what we got here. I think I'm hooked on another line, maybe. Oh, no. Nice chunky fella there. These are definitely some nicer fish. That is awesome. Chomped my dead stick shiner. Beauty. I'm curious how long this guy is. Another one's on my spoon right now. Look at this beauty right there. Gorgeous fish. I'm seeing some bigger ones down there right now, but we have definitely found the good fish. Wow. That is awesome. We definitely found some nicer fish here. And that was a pretty small mark compared to some of the ones I'm seeing down here. So we have definitely got some nice fish down here. Let's drop right back down and let's catch ourselves another one. I'm gonna throw this spoon right back down because I kind of want to see if I can get one of these guys to eat here. I'm seeing some bigger marks. So some of these fish could be just huge. I am curious because there is definitely some nice fish. That one right there was nice, about a 10, 11 incher, but I'm looking for something bigger here and I want to get them. I'm gonna drop down here, see if we can get something nicer. Some of these marks are really, really nice down here. So I wouldn't be surprised if we can get something just a tad bit nicer. Oh, this guy's coming up. This one's coming up right away. Got him. Just dropped down. It's not a super nice one. The other one down there was a little bit bigger. Some of these other fish are just massive. Jumbo crappie down here. I am seeing, I gotta help this one down here. Try to throw him down pretty quick. There you go, buddy. Come on. And boom, there you go. All righty, let's get our cast master dropped right back down here, guys. Definitely a lot of good fish down here, that's for sure. They're aggressive too. I mean, look at this one down there right under us. That one down there looks really nice. I want to get that one. I mean, some of these marks are just tanks, just absolute tanks. Did that one just take my dead stick? Did he? Looks like he did. And this one's on my spoon here. He's on, that one's definitely got my dead stick. Oh, look at this one coming up towards my spoon. I got the small one, didn't I? Yeah, I did. There was a bigger one down there coming up, but this one ate it first. Oh, he dropped it anyway. And this one's got my dead stick. Got him. Missed one, caught the other. That's kind of how it is. Both fish ate. And this one's not too shabby. They're all about that same size. I'm hoping to get something really nice, though. I'm seeing some really nice marks, so I'm kind of hoping one of those chunky fellas comes through and eats here. But for now, these guys are nice. Nothing wrong with them. We're catching fish. That's all that matters. But I am definitely seeing some big fish. And now I'm going to throw down a really big shiner here. Try to hopefully stay away from these smaller guys. I'm looking for something massive, and I want to get something massive. So we got to kind of use some bigger baits here to maybe accomplish that. Let's see which one of these. I mean, look at how many fish is down here. I mean, it's just crazy. This one's coming up really hot right now. He is on it. There's so many, I can't even see where my bait's at. I'm just hoping the big fish eats it, not the little one. There's a few nice ones down here, that's for sure. Why don't I just bring it up here and see which one of these guys actually eats? Bring it up a couple feet above them, see which one of them wants to chase it here. Eh, this one's coming up. Let's see if he wants to eat. I'm, I was kind of hoping for that other one there. Hard to tell if that's a good fish or not. He looks pretty small. All right, let's see here. I'm hoping one of these bigger fish comes up and eats. It's hard to tell which one of these ones are massive. This one right, oh, I mean, they're all pretty decent. Some definitely are bigger than others though. I'm gonna keep jigging and see if I can get one of these really big ones to come through. This one right under me is not too shabby. And then we got this smaller guy coming up as well. Let's see, I'm gonna bring it up pretty far, see which one of these guys eats it. The big thing is, you gotta hope. Got him. You gotta hope the big one eats first and not the small one. Gotta give him a pretty hard hook set with these smaller hooks. And we got the small one, that's for sure. All right, buddy. That's all right. I mean, I'm just hoping to get one of these big ones. There's definitely some big fish down here, but no matter what, we're catching fish. Nice little crappie. 
we're catching fish. I'm having fun, we're catching fish. I just, I just really hope that I can get one of these chunky fellas to eat. Cause there's definitely some nice fish down here. We just gotta kinda stray away from the, the dinks. Cause these smaller guys do tend to love to eat first. The bigger ones are a little bit smarter. They don't eat super, super quick. They kinda look at it first. And when you got these smaller ones there too, I mean, they just kinda hammer it right away. No questions asked. We probably won't stay out here too much longer. We've been out here for quite a long time. I wanna get home and get edited on this video. I mean, I'm gonna post it in like what? What time is it? It's like one o'clock at night right now. I'm gonna post it at 11 tomorrow. So we got a good, we'll edit it for six hours, get it ready. All right, yeah, we'll be up by seven, eight o'clock. Still editing this video probably, depending on how many fish we catch now in the next 30 minutes, because I'm probably not gonna stay out here for more than another 30. I'm hoping to get on some big fish, but we've been out here quite a long time and we've caught fish. We have definitely caught fish. I mean, they're aggressive too. This spot I just found has just some crazy aggressive fish. I mean, I can't even have my bait in the water for more than, I don't know, 30 seconds without getting eight. All right, well, this is gonna be a pretty short video, but we're gonna start getting ready and uh, packed up. I know we came out here for those jumbo crappie, but sadly to say, you're not always gonna get them. We caught nice fish. We definitely didn't do bad. We definitely caught some, uh, some pretty nice fish and I consider it a success. I came out here on the crappie quest to catch some crappie on a new bay of a lake and never fished this spot before. Gave it a try, used live scope for a couple hours to try to find spots. Ended up with four good looking spots. We fished two of them, both spots. We found fish and we caught fish. I consider that a success. Let me know down below which lakes you guys want me to fish next. Just leave some comments of some lakes you guys think. You don't need to tell me where in the lake. I don't need to know you guys' secret spot, but if you guys are seeing this right now, comment down below, give me the name of a lake, and I'll try to put it in one of my future videos and see if we can find some fish on it. If you got a lake you want me to fish, I'll fish it, and if I find fish, I'll let you know where I found them. So just to help you guys out as well. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys' support, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.